It has been about a week since the 2024 presidential debate, and we are now seeing the first polls starting to come out that are showing that Biden had a disastrous debate performance. Even if you watch it, you know it's been about a horrible debate. And now, President Biden is sitting at all-time lows on his approval rating. Donald Trump is soaring in the polls. President Biden's at a 37.2% disapproval, and Donald Trump now needs in the average by 2.1%. Before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and comment down below. So, starting off with our safe states, Nike states, and lean states. As of right now, Democrats have 225, Republicans have 236. And so we think that Ohio, Iowa, Texas, and Florida are going to be likely for the Republicans. And Colorado, New Mexico, and New York are going to be likely for Democrats. And Minnesota and Virginia, those aren't going to be really big swing states in this induction, even though the polls have indicated that they have gotten swimmer and swimmer margins. And Donald Trump actually currently needs in Virginia and New Hampshire in the polls, but I just don't think that President Trump is going to win. I think there's some polling errors there, but it's very well possible. And North Carolina is going to be a need state for Republicans, even though Democrats are putting in a lot of money and time in North Carolina. So let's start off with the great state of Nevada. Donald Trump currently has a 2.1% need based off 37 polls. Trump has 49.0% of the vote. President Biden has 46.9%. I think that Republicans are definitely going to win in the state of Nevada in 2024. Donald Trump is doing great with Hispanics and African American voters. In a CNN poll, Donald Trump's doing three times better with African American voters than he did back in 2020. Moving on to the great state of Arizona. Donald Trump currently has a 4.8% need based off the combination of polls. He has 49.2%. President Biden has 44.4%. This is a state that President Biden won by a very narrow margin back in 2020 by 0.3%. And it came pretty shocking. Not many, even though the Senate, Democrats won a Senate seat back in 2018 with Kristen Sinema. So Republicans really thought that, that Arizona was a lock. It's been a will be red Republican state for many, many, many election cycles. And I think it's going to flip back to the Republicans in this election as well. And the problem with Democrats and Joe Biden is that they have given up on both Arizona and Georgia. They are barely spending any. This is a reputable source from the White House saying that Arizona and Georgia, they believe, are going to go to easily towards Donald Trump. And they are really putting a lot of time and money into North Carolina because they're really trying to flip one of the Trump states that won, that Trump won back in 2020. And moving on to the great state of Georgia now, Donald Trump currently has a 4.3% need based off the combination of polls. Trump has 50.1%. President Biden has 45.8%. I definitely think Republicans are going to win in Georgia in 2024. Um, once again, this is a state that President Biden won in 2020. Very shocking. As we saw a couple, about a, two months later, Democrats won both Senate, Democratic Senate seats. And that helped give them the Senate. As of now, Republicans have 269 electoral votes. And they're going to have to try and pick off one of the West Belt states, neither Wisconsin, Michigan, or Pennsylvania, in order to win this election. Moving on to the great state of Wisconsin. President Biden actually has a 0.1% lead based off the combination of polls. Biden has 47.7%. Trump has 47.6%. This, in Wisconsin, this has been one of the most contested seats back in 2020. President Biden won it by 20,000 votes. That was the swimmest margin of victory out of the three West Belt states, including Michigan and Pennsylvania. In my opinion, I think President Trump is going to win in Wisconsin in 2024, which helps him get over the 270 electoral vote. And as of right now, if you just won these these states, these 48 states, that would be it, and he would be elected president. Without, he could lose Michigan and Pennsylvania, and he would still win. Moving on to the great state of Michigan. 
President Trump currently has a 1.3% lead based on 54 polls. He has 48.8%. President Biden has 47.5%. Michigan, according to the gov- Governor Whitmer in Michigan a couple days ago, she said that President Biden, after that debate, lost Michigan. And there's been a lot of problems within the Democratic Party on the pro-Israel and the pro-Palestine movements. As more of the progressor, progressive candidates are really pro-Palestine, more of the moderates are pro-Israel. And that's, going, that's really dividing the Democratic Party. And we're going to see that in Chicago at the Democratic National Convention in August. I, we're going to see, I bet, we're going to see some protests in there. And back in the Michigan primary, 150,000 people voted against President Biden just in the primary. Back in 2020, President Biden won the state by 150,000 votes. So that's big problems for Democrats if if those pro-Palestine voters decide not to vote. Because not voting is a vote for Trump, basically. And if we're seeing lower turnout in Ann Arbor, with it, where the University of Michigan is, and in Detroit, Wayne County, that's going to be a telltale sign that Democrats are going to lose Michigan. And honestly, I think Donald Trump's going to win in Michigan in 2024. It has been, in my past predictions, I've had Michigan as tilt Democrat, but now I'm switching it to tilt Republican. Moving on to our final state of the day is the great state of Pennsylvania. Donald Trump has a 2.1% lead based off 56 polls. Donald Trump has 47.9% of the vote. President Biden has 458 and according to the polls, this is the highest margin of victory amongst Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And I think Donald Trump's going to win in Michigan, excuse me, in Pennsylvania in 2024. I think this is a pretty easy state for Trump to pick off. And honestly, on the Senate level, I do expect Bob Casey to win. But there's not a problem. There's problems with Biden's debate performance. That's the main problem. As Many people are deciding, are trying to get Biden in the Democratic Party publicly, trying to get him to drop out. Now, in my opinion, if Democrats would face any other person, doesn't matter who that Democrat is, I believe they would do better than President Biden. As people know, people saw what they saw during that debate. And he's the current president. So there's a lot of people that are worried, not just about the election, but that he is the current president of the United States. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends, comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see me do next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.